So this is the iPod Nano 5th generation. The first thing that stands out about it is its sleek, thin and light design. Its thickness is about 6.2mm, which makes it thinner than a lot of smartphones today, including the iPhone 6. It also only weighs about 1.28 ounces, 36.4 grams, which makes this iPod an incredibly light device, almost giving you the sense that this iPod isn't even real. The design has a nice polished aluminium coating, which came in a variety of different colours to choose from, including a black iPod Nano, which is what I have here. This iPod Nano looks very similar to the previous 4th generation Nano, with a slightly bigger screen at 2.2 inches, and at the back, there was a lens and microphone added in the bottom left corner, which we will talk about more in depth later in this video. This particular iPod Nano 5th generation comes in a storage capacity of 8GB, but there was also a 16GB option if you needed more space for music, videos, etc. Unlike the iPods, iPhones and iPads of today, the iPod Nano 5th generation and previous iPods before it can be used as a USB flash drive. That means when you plug it into your computer, your OS, Mac or Windows, will recognise the iPod as a flash drive. Just like when you plug in a normal USB flash drive or hard drive or something. The main standout feature of this iPod Nano though, is the video camera that's on the bottom left. This feature was to rival the Flip Video Ultra, which is a small pocket video camera, which made recording and sharing video on the web very simple and easy. Just like the iPhone 3GS released earlier that year, it records 640x480 video at 30 frames a second. Unlike the iPhone 3GS, it can't take pictures. What were you thinking, Apple? There are 16 different video effects included on this iPod Nano, including the standard sepia, black and white, x-ray, and some other interesting effects, including mirror, kaleidoscope, thermal, security cam, film grain, cyborg, and many more. In terms of video quality on the iPod Nano 5th Gen, it's decent for 640x480 with fairly decent colour reproduction and sharpness. It's not the best video quality in the world, obviously, but it was good enough for sharing videos online to social networks like YouTube back in 2009. The audio quality is also decent for a camera this size, even though it's only mono. How are you today, Siri? Thank you. What's the weather going to be like tomorrow? Nice weather coming up tomorrow. About the 21 degrees Celsius. So what does the software look like when you first turn it on? Well, once again, it's similar to the iPod Nano 4th generation, using the famous click wheel for navigation. The same that was used on previous iPods before the 5th generation Nano. There is a small preview pane at the bottom of the main screen, which shows a visual of the option that you selected. For example, if you have selected music, it will show album art of the songs that are on the iPod Nano. Or, if you have the video camera option selected, it will show stills from videos that you've taken on the iPod Nano. Another exciting feature that was introduced on this iPod Nano was the built-in FM radio. This feature would only be possible if you plug in headphones to the iPod Nano, but it does work quite well. What does make it more unique about the feature is that there is a function called Live Pause, which allows you to pause live radio up to 15 minutes, similar in functionality to a DVR. I won't go too in-depth into music playback on this iPod Nano, but it's safe to say that it's about as decent as today's iPhones which is what people use a lot to, to listen to music. I mean, music playback has always been one of the iPod line's strengths, because that's what it's designed for in the first place. Well, video playback is alright, but the only problem is the small 2.2 inch 240x376 screen, which means that watching videos on the iPod Nano 5th gen can be a struggle if you're used to much larger screens for watching videos on. With a thin and sleek design, a wide range of colours, video recording capabilities and excellent music playback capabilities, the iPod Nano 5th generation is a feature packed, stunningly designed Nano, even after 6 years from its release. If some of you are wondering, this wasn't the only iPod with a camera. A year later in 2010, 
Apple released the iPod Touch 4th generation, which added a 0.7 megapixel camera, which is in an extremely low resolution by today's standards. But at least it could take stills and 720p video, unlike the 5th generation Nano, which could only take 640x480 video. But back in 2009 when this iPod was released, it was definitely an excellent music player and decent pocket video camera for its price range. If you liked the video, as always, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to see more videos from me in the future. You can also follow me on my social networks like Twitter and Instagram for more updates from me in the future. So that is it for my iPod Nano 5th generation retro review. Hope to do more retro reviews in the future. And I will see you in my next video. Bye! Watching this on my iPhone 2G, that's surprising that you even managed to even watch that video on an iPhone 2G. That's two generations behind the iPhone 3GS. In fact, it's the first generation iPhone. Very much. The internet is horrible. I couldn't even load YouTube. Ha 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 ha, you deserve it. You chill. Here are a bunch of comments all complaining about either my voice or It also only weighs about 1.28 ounces. 36... There. No. <laughs> Just adjust the setup here. Okay. That's good.